All right. So before we kick things off, a little explanation as to what I call each member of a three-team alliance. During the alliance selection, the team that steps up to the mic and invites other teams to join their alliance, they will be referred to as the alliance captain. The first team they select will be referred to as the first round pick, and the second team they select will be referred to as the second round pick. With that out of the way, here's the hypothetical situation we will be discussing today. Let's say that you are the Alliance Captain and you are faced with a dilemma. The Alliance you are now facing has a Captain equal to you, a first round pick equal to yours, and has, for whatever reason, a much better second round pick. This means that you have a 50-50 chance of winning the first match, almost no hope of winning the second match, and a 50-50 chance of winning the third if you even get there. This means that the opposing Alliance will really only need to win one of the odd matches to knock you out. But this is not the only way to play this situation. First, let's make an assumption. Whatever match the second round pick plays in will be lost. Then keeping in mind that because of the way the game is set up that they will have to play in one of the first two matches, we can ask this question. Which of the first two matches can you most afford to lose? We've already gone over what would happen if you play your second round pick in the second match, but what would happen if you elect to play them in the first? So you take the hint, sit out, play your first round pick in the first match, and lose it. After that, the tables are turned in the second match because the opposing alliance has to play their second round pick against your two best. This pushes it to a third match which, if you see the world in black and white, remains a 50-50 chance. Thus, by playing your second rounder first, you now only need to win one match against an equal opponent as opposed to two. Also. Because you won the second match, you carry the momentum into the third round, giving you that much more of an edge. Keep in mind that while well, in theory, practice and theory are the same, and practice they are not, so your mileage may vary, and it all looks really bad if you get unlucky and lose the second match, as I did in the 2011 US Nationals. The memory still haunts me to this day mainly because I was a jerk about losing. Don't be a jerk about losing. Also keep in mind that all the opposing alliance needs to do is imitate you and the scheme is completely undone. So if you are higher seated, be sure to use your right to place last.